Hello everyone, my name is Evil Pin Crash and today I will be talking about Battlefield and Call of Duty. With the upcoming release of the highly anticipated games Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3, the discussion of the fans of both series about which game will be the best rises again and becomes even more hot than ever before. Actually, it looks like Battlefield 3 will win the fight. I'm not that big of a Call of Duty fan, I like Battlefield more, but I can tell you that I enjoyed and still play Modern Warfare. The past years, Battlefield was almost ignored by the Call of Duty community, but now, suddenly, Battlefield is a serious threat to the popularity of Call of Duty. How did it come so far? Four years ago, this sort of thing would never have happened, because at that time the Call of Duty series dominated the skyline of first person shooters. At that time, all other first person shooters were doomed to exist in the shadows of Call of Duty and its enormous fan base. How on earth did it come so far? I think I know the answer. When Activision and Infinity Ward released Modern Warfare in 2007, it was a bombshell. In a time when shooters were existing relatively peaceful and have very much a like fan base, Call of Duty now dominated the market. And it has to be said, Modern Warfare was a brilliant game. You didn't have to look far to come to that conclusion, because almost all of its scores were above 90. And huge popularity brings with it money. A lot of money. In fact, Modern Warfare was one of the best selling games ever in the gaming history. It doesn't need explaining that Modern Warfare's developers liked the sight of the extra numbers that were added to their bank account. And that's the moment they thought, never change a winning formula. And they didn't change it. In the years to come, they almost shamelessly copied Modern Warfare. You don't need to take a close look to see where they got their inspiration for World at War, Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops from. Even worse, besides new maps, storylines and weapons, they almost cloned the gameplay from Modern Warfare. And that's the big mistake they made. While Activision was almost literally selling new copies of the game, DICE, Battlefield's developers, had to constantly evolve and make your game better to just have a little piece of the Call of Duty fans cake. With Modern Warfare, Infinity Ward created a huge space between the Call of Duty and Battlefield series. But the problem was that from then on, they didn't make any progress at all, and so let Battlefield catch up with them. And that's why I like Battlefield more. Of course, it has also to do with the gameplay and the community, but just the fact that the developers of Call of Duty kept cloning their games for making huge profit, makes me want to puke. And if you're not convinced yet, then take a look at Call of Duty's DLC and Battlefield's DLC. Map packs contain 5 maps, sometimes one of them is an old one from a previous game. For this you pay 15 bucks. Well for 13 bucks, you get Battlefield Vietnam expansion for Battlefield by Company 2, which contains 5 all new maps, new weapons, new vehicles, boats and helicopters. That's a serious difference in content. DICE always trade treated their community well and made great games and finally I think people are seeing that and that's why Battlefield 3 is so much more popular now than Modern Warfare 3. If Call of Duty wants to get popular again they will have to make something new and brilliantly good. Let's hope that the competition between Battlefield and Call of Duty may result in more great games. I will just let this gameplay play out a bit because this was quite a nice match actually and I was playing on a server with a speed hack which you can only play with if you're if you're not patched to 1.6 or 1.7 I think you have to be 1.0 I don't know if you can only be played then but only this server supported that so yeah see you guys later